Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants. Take a look at something a little different today. We're taking a quick look at the free experience called The Screen, based on the painting of the same name, which I'm sure you'll recognise if you don't know it already. So I don't know much about this, but I've heard good things about it. Like I said, it's a really interesting way to experience art. The Scream VR. Got a good name, you've got to give it that. Good sensible name. When he painted the Scream at the end of the 19th century, the Norwegian Edvard Munch wanted to represent the world through powerful emotions. He was the precursor of expressionism. Hello? Edward Munch, The Scream, 1893. The Scream is undoubtedly Edvard Munch's most famous painting. Mm -hmm. A scream whose origin remains mysterious. Is this painting a reaction to inner feelings? Or an external shock? The supernatural red, undulating lines of the sky, contribute to the feeling of anxiety that emanates from the painting. They are undulating. So that's, that's a creepy sound. I don't like the creepy sound. Does it want us to touch the painting? I'm not too sure. I'm going to give it a go. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's very cool. Oh, I like that as well. I don't know how you do this if you're a bit shorter, because I had to get on my tiptoes for that. That one doesn't seem to want to do it. But go towards the end. Okay. Oh, I wondered if that would happen. I wonder if I hit my monitor like that, which I definitely did. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at that sky, man. The sun went down. Uh huh. A bloody flamboyant sword cut open the firmament. Oh, hello. I felt a loud scream pass through nature. The sky was blood red. The colors screamed. I painted the clouds like real blood. There it goes. That look cool. Probably not a safe place to be right now. Heat 
pace that's coming off in the distance. Nature, look. Isn't well, that everywhere like actually like now, like everywhere. This. Now the ash starts to fall on us, look. Earth is a living atom. It blows and storms are unleashed. and then it just disappeared. And everything went black. Apart from you, of course. Oh. I do not paint what I see, but what my soul has seen. Keep the fire sound in the no, that's fading out now as well. Oh, cleaned my hands for me. That's nice. Ten years before he painted the scream, Krakatoa erupted in Indonesia. All over Europe, ashes suspended in the air gave rise to flaming sunsets. Hmm. The colors were so intense, you thought they were fires. The that's first awesome. Time I mean, obviously not this painting. Not the Indonesians. Not call it the scream but the scream of nature. And we, uh... This is super cool. Are they just going to slowly take over everything, are they? It seems to be the way it's going. I came to this world in poor health. My father did not believe that I would survive. Oh. Creepy. My mother, my aunt, died of tuberculosis. As did my sister, Sophie. Oh. Okay. My brother had weak lungs. He died of pneumonia. Wow. I mean... I live surrounded by death. Apparently so, mate. Stopped. Oh my god. Oh. Wasn't expecting that. All right. Now we're going to touch the, the creepy dead person. Just the skull remained. When in 1889, monks saw this Peruvian mummy, its hands and feet tied, its mouth wide open, and hands clasped on its temples. He was gripped. Strange that even in death, we have to shut ourselves off from outside noise.
And there's the ash again. Okay. Well, let's go... Let's go back in... Oh, no. Wait. Either side. Okay, let's go for this one. Oh, really? The same bridge? Oh, it looks like the same bridge. Was it like a trilogy piece then? Same bridge, same people, same boats. Oh, that's interesting. The screen is a part of a series of paintings, The Freeze of Life. Monk explores the powerful feelings that accompany any existence. The same situation is used to express loneliness, or to stage a host of ghostly automatons, advancing toward their destiny, with no other escape than to be crushed by the weight of society. Okay. Uh, definitely getting closer. Definitely getting. Oh, and okay. Yep, surrounded on all sides. Perfect. That looks awesome. The modeling on that falling over itself is amazing. It's going to take a step back. Hmm. <laughs> Now the ash, the mummy, the cogs. Almost fell over. Oh. Ha. <laughs> as soon as I went to recreate the scream's position. That, that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. What a fascinating way to experience art. A little bit of history, that little bit of backstory. That is, yeah, that's amazing. Oh God, I really hope they do like a lot more on that. Like exploring various pieces of art or something perhaps, because that was, that was absolutely fascinating. I love that. I really love that. Hope you did too. If you did, if you enjoyed it and you would like to experience it for yourself, it is a free download that is available on Steam. So check it out. If you think there's someone else, someone in your in your life that might like to experience it, then obviously, as I say, it's free. So you can pick it up and show it to anyone you like. I'm certainly going to want to show that to a few people because that was brilliant. If you enjoyed that, do click the like button. Much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Questions, comments. Leave them down below. I'll get back to you when I see them. Don't forget, I do stream every Wednesday at 6 p.m. It'd be wonderful to see you there. I even like how that's just towering away into the distance. That's awesome. Otherwise, I will see you next time in some other magical VR adventure, which hopefully comes even close to being as amazing as that was. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.